From Anderson, Anderson Hall, Hall and the Roy Lenwell Studios, Studios in downtown Lincoln, it's time for a look at scores from the rest of the country. This is the Post Game Scoreboard Show on 90.3 KRNU. For the Husker Scoreboard Show, I'm Ryan Mix. Well, Husker fans, was there ever any doubt? The comeback kids get their fourth come from behind win of the year, but Nebraska wasn't the only Big Ten school providing excitement this afternoon. Wisconsin has punched their ticket to Indianapolis as the Badgers clinch the leaders' division title today with a big 62-14 win at Indiana. Wisconsin head coach Brett Bielema made a somewhat controversial decision to go with Kurt Phillips as a starting quarterback today, but quite frankly, it didn't matter who was under center for the Badgers. Wisconsin posted some gaudy rushing numbers today as the Badgers rushed for a school record 564 yards on 64 attempts, coming out at 8.8 yards per carry. Monte Ball and James White carried the load for the Badgers as Ball rushed for 198 yards and three scores, while James White rushed for 161 yards and two touchdowns. This was the fifth time in the last seven meetings Wisconsin scored 52 or more against Indiana. With Penn State and Ohio State ineligible for postseason play, the Badgers very well could be the only team from the leaders' division to play in a bowl game. In a key matchup for the Legends' division standings, Michigan knocks off Northwestern in a thriller at the Big House, 38-31 in overtime. Northwestern just about had the game won as Wildcats were up 31-28 with 18 seconds left in the game when Devin Gardner completed a 53-yard pass to Roy Roundtree setting up a 26-yard field goal for Brandon Gibbons, who knocked it through the uprights uprights to send the game to overtime. In overtime, Michigan scored a touchdown on a one-yard run from Gardner, and that's all they would need as Northwestern went three and out to give Michigan the victory. The Wolverines improved to 7-3 overall and 5-1 in Big Ten play, currently tied atop the Legends division. The woeful season for the Hawkeyes continued today as Iowa lost their fourth game in a row, losing to Purdue 27-24 at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. The loss dropped the Hawkeyes to 4-6 overall and 2-4 and in the Big Ten, meaning victories are needed over Michigan and Nebraska in their final two games to reach a bowl game. Despite being outgained 490 yards to 264 yards, Iowa kept itself in the game by winning the turnover battle 3-0. Purdue drove 37 yards and 16 seconds to set up the game-winning 46-yard field goal from Paul Griggs as time expired. This was the second time this year Iowa lost at home to a field goal at the gun, with Central Michigan providing the first heartbreak for the Hawkeyes in September. Outside the Big Ten, there was plenty of excitement as well. I'll have more scores right after this. Keep it tuned on 90.3 KRNU. Welcome back to the Husker Scoreboard Show. Well, the sixth-ranked Florida Gators sure gave their fans a scare today as they escaped the swamp with a narrow 27-20 victory over Louisiana Lafayette. Jelani Jenkins blocked a punt 36 yards for a touchdown with two seconds remaining to give the Gators a 27-20 win. The Ragin' Cajuns were up 20-13 for most of the fourth quarter until Florida tied it up with a minute 42 left on a three-yard touchdown pass from Jacoby Brissett. Brissett replaced Jeff Driscoll, who had to leave the game with an ankle injury. Florida will clinch the SEC East Division title with an Auburn victory over Georgia tonight. While Florida avoided the stunner, our biggest upset of the day for the 11 o'clock games was Syracuse dominating number 9 Louisville at the Carrier Dome, rolling to a 45-26 victory. Syracuse was in control for nearly the entire game as they were up 31-13 at halftime. Quarterback Ryan Nassib went 15 for 23 for 246 yards passing and three touchdowns to lead the Orangemen. In the Big 12, 22nd ranked Texas Tech had to take 1-9 Kansas to double overtime to beat the Jayhawks 41-34 in Lubbock. The Jayhawks only managed 29 yards passing but had 390 yards rushing on the day. Seth Dagey went 45 of 59 for the Red Raiders, throwing for 476 yards and three touchdowns. Staying in the Big 12, Iowa State's struggles without all Big 12 linebacker Jake Knott continue as the Cyclones were manhandled in Austin, losing to 17th-ranked Texas 33-7. The Longhorns outgained the Cyclones 609-277, led by quarterback David Ash, who threw for 364 yards and two touchdowns. Texas improves to 8-2 overall and 5-2 in the Big 12, while Iowa State is still searching for their sixth win to become bowl eligible. Moving over to the ACC, 13th-ranked Clemson had no problems with 4-6 Maryland, 
defeating the Terps 45 to 10. Maryland is currently using freshman converted linebacker Sean Petty at quarterback as the Terps' four quarterbacks are all done for the year with various injuries. Petty went 6 for 12 today with 41 yards passing and one touchdown. Not bad for a kid who was practicing on defense a couple weeks ago. Don't go anywhere. I'll have a final recap of games just completed right after this. Welcome back. In the marquee game of the day, number one Alabama has been upset at home by 15th ranked Texas A&M. The Aggies just knocked off the Crimson Tide 29-24, led by freshman sensation quarterback Johnny Manziel, who had over 350 yards of total offense, and you can bet his name will be entered in the Heisman race. Johnny Football and the Aggies provide the stunner of the day. Who saw this coming as Texas A&M knocks off the defending national champions, sure to provide a huge shakeup in the BCS standings tomorrow night. In a key top 25 matchup between Pac-12 teams, number 14 Stanford takes down 11th ranked Oregon State 27-23. Stephon Taylor had 19 carries for 114 yards rushing and one touchdown to lead the Cardinal. Also in the Pac-12, 19th ranked USC defeated Arizona State 38-17 in Los Angeles to keep their Rose Bowl hopes alive. Curtis McNeil had a big day for the Trojans, rushing for 163 yards and two touchdowns. Switching over to the Big 12, Oklahoma has just defeated Baylor 42-34, and Oklahoma State has knocked off a struggling West Virginia team 55-34 in Stillwater. The Mountaineers dropped to 5-4 overall and 2-4 and in the Big 12, while Oklahoma State improves to 6-3 and overall and 4-2 and in the Big 12. That's it for the Husker Scoreboard Show for this week. This is Ryan Mix. Stay tuned for the Husker Highlight Show coming up next on 90.3 KRNU.